Okay, folks. So what's happening in AI today? Well, I'm sure you all are very well up to speed on the OpenAI debacle, so I won't mention anything about that. But let's talk something else today, right? What happened? Well, Anthropic launched their Claude 2.1. There are a few things worth of a highlight. Definitely the biggest context window on the internet. 200,000 tokens. Now I know and you all know Anthropic had the largest 100,000 context for, for many months and about 10-12 days ago we heard from OpenAI uh, they launched GPT-4 with 128k context. All right now the competition is heating up Anthropic launching today with a 200k context window. Amazing. So you may ask what can I do with 200k context window well you can do so many things the first of all it's a 200,000 tokens so you can do anything you can do with 200,000 token which is approximately 150,000 words but it just doesn't matter what your number of word count is what actually it meant is how many pages of document you can send right and that's what your layman wants 500 pages of information you can ship as a part of your single context window that means you can ship an entire novel like odyssey and start asking questions or you can ship all of your codes entire code base can you imagine that and then start changing your code base or asking question around where the quality issues are in my code maybe claude will tell you that but that is not the only thing i think i'm more excited about the another launch they had today that is more about reducing the hallucination and according to their benchmark they are reducing the hallucination by 2x and it's amazing thing why because that's a significant gain in the honesty of a model model is telling that whether i know the answer or i don't know the answer instead of it hallucinating i think most of the enterprise customer and any other customer will take no as an answer instead of a wrong answer so that is the biggest thing i in my opinion to get launched today and one more thing they launched is about the api too and what you can do as a software developer with an api you all can figure it out it's a new beta it's not actually launched in production yet but you can integrate with your existing processes you can integrate with existing apis you can do a, connect with your web sources you can connect with your retrieval mechanism and then there are so many things you can do as a part of your entire api usage so with that uh, i guess i'll conclude this and have fun playing with anthropic model